Hathor is an ancient Egyptian goddess. Her attributes are love, beauty, music, dance, maternity and joy. She is one of the very important goddesses and popular throughout ancient Egyptian history. Hathor was worshipped like royalty and was described as the Lady of the West on tombs. Her other attributes are music, dance, foreign lands and fertility. She also helps women in childbirth. She is also the patron goddess of minors, the cult of Hathor. In prehistoric times and in the development of the pre-dynastic cult with roots far back in prehistory was depicted in the form of a cow in fertility. Hathor is usually depicted as a cow goddess with horns and a sun disk with uraeus. The twin feathers were sometimes depicted in later time periods with a turquoise musical necklace worn by women, just like Menet. Hathor was the goddess of the cow, which was also identified in the early Narmer palette. A first dynasty stone urn depicts her as the goddess of the sun and in relation to Horus. The ancient Egyptians studied the gods at various times, looking at the different characteristics and myths. There was no contradiction. She was adopted as the mother of Horus and associated with Bast. The cult of Osiris gave eternal life, someone who died became Osiris, male or female. But during the Roman period women became Hathor and men became Osiris, the ancient Greeks identified Hathor as the goddess, Aphrodite and the Romans as Venus. Hathor's sacred menet necklace depicts for sisters with rough semicircular breasts. This necklace is fastened with chains hanging down around her neck. This necklace was probably worn during religious rituals and was one of the most important objects stored. Mentahotep II, Pharaoh of Upper Egypt during the Middle Kingdom, declared independence during the first intermediate period. This led to 28 years of brutal warfare and many casualties. When the war ended, Mentahotep III came to power and Egypt returned to its former prosperous years. Third Imat and informing people about the assassination plans in the world. Hathor was furious that the people she created were so daring and came as Sekhmet, the war goddess of Upper Egypt, and destroyed them. Sekhmet like Hathor was bloodthirsty and there was great carnage, because she could not be stopped. As the slaughter continued, Ra saw the chaos below and decided to stop the bloodthirsty Sekhmet. To trick Sekhmet, he spilled large quantities of blood-colored beer on the ground. Sekhmet, mistaking these spills for blood, drank them and got drunk and returned to her indulgent Hathor form. In Egyptian mythology, Heset also spelled Hesahet or Heseret is the divine sky cow. In the form of Hathor on earth, she is also known as the wife of Ra. Because she was the earthly cow goddess, milk was called Heset's beer as a milk cow. Hesat was seen as the one who suckled the other gods and was the creator of all food. Hesat is therefore depicted as a white cow with milk flowing from her udders, carrying food in a tray on her horns. In this earthly form, Hesat is religiously said to be the mother of Anubis, the god of the dead, the earthly manifestation of Ra, the bull Nevis, the father of Anubis. The mother of Hesed and Anubis is the Holy Trinity and this Holy Trinity family was worshipped. This cow, which gives milk and therefore bends over her young and is a national symbol of motherhood. And Hathor, the goddess of motherhood, received the titles of the great cow that protects every child and the holy lady of women. From a maternal point of view, her priests predicted the fate of newborns and delivered them to midwives after covering the sky. She appeared as the mother of Horus. She symbolically became the divine mother of the pharaohs and was identified as Horus. Since Isis was Horus' wife, Hathor sometimes became his mother. She was like a stepmother, to be precise. It is said that Horus was the son of Ra and Hathor was his wife. Ra had created him sexless. Hathor was therefore given the title of Lady of Heaven. The fact that she was Ra's wife is as follows. She emerged from Ra's tears and was, therefore known for centuries, as the Eye of Ra. Technically, Hathor is often shown as a golden cow, even covered in stars, it shines like gold. The cow's ears are similar to a woman's, and on its horn it holds a disc of the sun, representing Ra, sometimes described as a hippopotamus. The Egyptians sometimes thought of these animals as the main creator, Hathor, who is in all cases like the divine mother of the pharaoh is sometimes described as a cow standing on a sea boat. This boat 
sought to be Ra's boat, passes through the sky like the sun, surrounded by long papyrus reeds. The Pharaoh is depicted as a calf standing beside her. This divine mother is sometimes depicted as a sacred viper, sometimes as a cobra, showing her power, sometimes in local depictions. Hathor was perceived as mystical, along with the number seven. With minor differences, the moon is divided into four equal parts and corresponds to the number of known planets. In the context of the mother, this seven Hathor was disguised as a young woman, attending the birth of the child, then determining its fate. In recent centuries, these seven aspects of Hathor have been identified as the Pleiades. The Pleiades is the open star cluster in the constellation Taurus. It is now sacred to the Jews. It is the closest star cluster to Earth and can be seen with the naked eye. These stars are warm blue in color and are said to completely disintegrate in 250 million years from Earth. It looks like a small scoop in mythology. They are known as the Seven Sisters. The cow's long eyelashes and large eyes often showed the gentle side of a calm woman. There are still such cultures around the world. A girl is compared to a heifer to indicate her beauty. Thus Hathor became the goddess of beauty, fertility, and lovers. In many case, Hathor, the goddess of fertility, is often depicted in red and naked. Although her sacred color is turquoise, red is the color of passion, thus you're in the titles of the lady in red and the lady of sexuality. At times, the image of her fertility was described as fields of reeds. The artistic conventions in Egypt were quite unusual. Hathor and bees were always depicted in this way. Her beauty was also symbolically recognized by mirrors and Hathor's image was often painted on. Columns in Egyptian architecture. Hathor, a fertile cow goddess, was identified with Bada, another fertile cow goddess. The question that Egyptologists still cannot find an answer to is why Bada could not survive. For a long time, Bada is spiritually connected to Ba, and Hathor is associated with him in the afterlife. With this main character, he would meet the souls of the dead underground and offer them food and drink. She is sometimes described as the mistress of the Acropolis. Bada associated the music and the instrument that emerged with the sistrum. In this form, the Hathor cult was centralized in Dendera. There were also dancers, singers and other entertainment led by priests. A painting in the temple of Hathor at Dendera depicts an electric bolt known as the Dendera light, which still arouses controversy. Hathor was thus associated with Menet, the turquoise musical necklace worn by women. Hathor, patroness and funder of dancers, was associated with percussion music. She would see and show off her beauty with her to traditional mirrors. Sistrum and mirrors are traditionally used in Hathor's painting, especially on her head. Thus, by looking at his own reflection in the mirror, he supports what is happening behind him. These images are standard and ubiquitous, often on decorative and architectural columns. They usually have cow, ears and hair. Hathor's hair was done according to the fashion of that time, and this hairstyle was named after her. Archaeologists named this hairstyle Hathor hair. This style is completely different and surprising. Clea impressive, it is a hairstyle that is not very fancy and is carefully braided. As opposed to extreme, it is simple, usually separated in the middle. You can even do this simple hairstyle on your own. It is more of a balancing hairstyle. Ironically, it has become the most commonly used hairstyle in depictions of gods, especially the goddesses of love might have used this shape to show their self-confidence. Although other Egyptian hairstyles are recognized even today, the Hathor style stands out as an international style. It is still used especially in the Middle East. Other goddesses were depicted wearing this style, and the most fashionable style was this Hathor style. While Horus was considered on a par with Ra, she was given the name Ra Herakti. Hathor's position became unclear since she became Ra's wife, but she became the mother of Horus and the wife of Isis. Ra Herakti was given a new wife and her name was Asas. However, we have to ask the question, how could this be Hathor's mother? Well, there are documents showing that Ra Herakti was Hathor's child. Thoth is described as the creator and is said to be the father of Ra Herakti. Thus, Hathor became the mother of Ra Herakti and the wife of Thoth. However, 
There is also a situation like this. How can Hathor beat his mother? The cult of Thoth is strong in this area. Thoth is known as the creator. It is said that Thoth is also the father of Raherakti. Thus, Hathor becomes the mother of Raherakti and the wife of Thoth. Raherakti is known as a young bow before the group of eight, cosmonology, and his name is said to be Neferfer. Thoth's wife is often depicted holding a child in her drawings. Thoth's previous wife was Seshath. Hathor also began to take on many of Seshath's characteristics, according to records, before Seshath. She served as a witness during the trial of Sol's aunt. This aspect was attributed to Hathor. Additionally, Nekmatawai meant the one who rescues stolen goats. And therefore she became the goddess of stolen goats. The cult of Thor outside was important for Raherakti to maintain his position. As a result, Hathor could not be identified as Raherakti's mother. Hathor's role in the death process, offering food and drink to the newly deceased, also shows that she was Neabkau's cheerful wife. Neabkau is the guardian of the underworld and a descendant of the Ka lineage. At the time of the group of nine and eight combinations, Adam and Ra were formed from each other, and Hathor was like the daughter of Adam Ra. However, this should not be confused with Tefno. The story is a historical parable. Tefno and her husband should fled Egypt due to an argument. They were persuaded to return from time to time. There was a turn in one of the arguments between Hathor and Ra, and they retreated again. According to the story, Tefna turned into a cat and attacked those near him. Hathor also beat him and helped. When you look at the reliefs of Ra, you will see Horus constantly walking around him before Isis became the wife of Horus. She was sometimes considered the wife of Ra. In the end, Hathor was identified with Isis, and this identification was stronger and more permanent than it was easy for Horus and Ra. While technically Isis was like this, Hathor's mother became new. She is also sometimes referred to as the wife of Horus. In this case, it causes confusion, because in this case, he looks like Hathor's son. This is how Horus is known as Horus Betti. When Horus assimilated with Anher she became Arsnuffus and Hathor became Anher's mother. Later Ra assimilates with Ammon and takes the name Amunra. Hathor then marries the crocodile god Sobek. Over time the Hathor cult became one of the most powerful cults.